Okay, we are going to start with our flowers for our still life collage. So what you're gonna do is supply manager, you have pencils. You're gonna give everybody a pencil. Masterpiece manager, open up your folder. Please return the folder to my box because these papers are wet and then you'll get your paper horizontally. Everybody writes your name and then you're gonna write your teacher's coat. Look at the board behind Miss Lawson, forgot. Now supply manager, your job is to get all four pencils and erasers back in my cup and you're going to walk the cup and on my desk, you're gonna see this little tray. Your cup with your pencils needs to be on my tray before you can get your paint. This has to be on my tray with all your pencils and your erasers on my little tray before you can get your paint. Now, once I see that on there, I will say you may get your paint. It's the same person, the supply manager, and you're gonna have six colors. Your warm, orange, yellow, red, and your cool, green, purple, blue. So what we're gonna do is we're going to randomly create flowers on our paper, because these will be cut out, and we're gonna be gluing them on something else. So you're gonna flip your paper, and I'm gonna give you some ideas. So the supply manager is going to give you the paintbrush, put the house to the side, and you have to create flowers. Now you can use the ones I'm using to create, or you can create your own. So what you're gonna do is pick a color. I'm gonna start with yellow, because it's the lightest, and I don't wanna mix it up, and make some petals. Now I'm just not gonna do a huge one in the middle, I'm going to start in the corner and I'm just going to use my brush to create a flower and the brush is a flat brush so it's a good shape of a petal and all I'm doing is putting it down and around in a circle to create a flower. Now I need a center so I'm going to wash it off and then go into some orange and then I'm going to create the center of my flower. I can, I, I can even, whoops, too much. Let me wash it off. Blend in some orange into the yellow on my paper. There we go. So your job is to create different flowers just like I showed you using the different colors. So I'm going to wash it off, switch to a different flower and color. So now I'm going to make a red one. This one's going to be different. I'm going to use the edge. And again, these will be cut out, so I'm not going to make them in any kind of order. I'm using the the edge right here and kind of making a sideways flower. So there's another flower. That one does not have a center because it's like the side of it. The center would be in the middle. Wash off the red. I'm gonna do a blue one. And they don't have to be realistic. They could be something made up. And all I did, I'll show you again for this one, made a line with the edge, then I, keeping the edge, I just laid it down and pulled towards the line. to make that one. I'll make a purple one. Our goal is to, you know, make, use every color, not the green. The green's going to be for some leaves we're going to draw or paint. Now I'm just kind of laying my paintbrush down. It doesn't even have to look like anything. Let's do one more with orange. You can fill up your paper with many flowers as you want because, again, we'll be cutting these out. Center. I'm going to use red for this center. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to show you what to do with the green. The last one you're going to do to fill in the other little spaces is using your green, you're going to make some leaves. So the shape you want is kind of like a football shape, and then paint it in. So do some of those in the areas you don't have. You can even do what I did here with the blue. Do a line and then add your, but make a couple leaves. Do one over in this spot, just cause we'll cut these out and use them in to fill in other spaces. Oops. I'm gonna do another one of these up here. 
Okay. So I have at least one, two, three, four different types of flowers. I have a couple leaves. So that's all we're doing today with this. Again, this is going to be cut out. So don't worry if it doesn't look like it's in a vase or anything because we'll glue them in. So make sure that you wash your paintbrush off. Please put it back in your house with the hair on top. Put that back on your red cup. Supply manager, don't forget to put this back on your counter and then everybody else pick up your paper don't forget to push your chair in and remember we always want to walk around the blue so we're not in the middle of the hand washing station um, we did this horizontally but again when you get to the drying rack it goes vertical and please remember if you're one two three or four in the back you got to lay your paper down and you need to push it all the way to the back all the way because if you leave it in the middle whoever puts their paper there is going to have their paper hanging off so our job is one two three four push it all the way back soap remember one pump hand washing paper towels and then make your way to the floor to read a book until it's time to leave